the time will be 8, 19, and 30 seconds. Zero, zero, nine, eight, seven, Before settling down in your easy chair, listen to this album. May we make a suggestion? Take your phone off the hook. Zero. Somebody might call during the next half hour or so and interrupt your fun. Moreover, you never know these days who else might be on the line. Did you see the clip on the news the other night about the crisis in the computer industry? According to the hype, laid-back programmers in the 60s, probably under the influence of a bad trip on psychedelics, made a big coding error. Never suspecting that they were writing code for the millennium, programmers entered two-digit dates instead of four into the system operating instructions of computers. This was thought to be a real groovy digital compression idea at the time. Until, that is, cyber culture slammed into the vector wall of the year 2000. Imagine you're in New York at midnight on January 1st, 2000. You phone a friend on the West Coast, where it's still 1999, and you get billed for a long-distance call lasting 99 years. Or you're planning to fly home from vacation, but the planes are stopped. Flights canceled because the air traffic control system is hopelessly fouled up. Or you find that your paycheck stopped coming in the year 2000 because your company's payroll system has crashed. Even the assembly line is halted. Computer expert Peter de Yager has been telling people those scenarios are not all that far-fetched. But this is real. It's big. It's ugly. And there's nothing we can do to avoid it. It seems like such an insignificant little problem. The fact that most computers, instead of using four digits to denote a year, use only two. And it wouldn't be a problem, except that come the year 2000, most computers will call that zero zero. It seems that many computers will assume zero zero means the year 1900, back to the future. Unable to recognize the four digits in the third millennium, computers will do the next best thing, go remake and head straight back to the year 1900. Here's the big glitch. When the electronic calendars on many computers flip over to the year 2000, they'll register it as 00. zero, zero. And that can make the computers do all sorts of strange things. Looks like it's four digits or a bust. Or is it? Maybe this news report doesn't have anything to do with money or computers, but is actually a metaphor for fear of the millennium. Instead of being a time for a big celebration, the millennium could become a big zero, getting the brand new century off to a nothing start. The more things are front-loaded by future pressure, the more society reaches into the grab bag of the past and spews out lame remakes and recombinant images. Under the gravitational strain of the year 2000, culture retreats to the remake bunker. Just like the operating systems of computers, the operating system of the 20th century has crashed into a remake loop. Remake coding. Remake coding. 
For a remake culture. For a remake culture. For a remake millennium. For a remake millennium. As the year 2000 gets closer and closer, the recycle cycle gets more intense. Remake cinema. Remake martinis. Remake faces. Remake cigars. Remake politics. Remake love. Remake music heroes. Remake fashion look. Remake suburbia. Remake flesh. Remake cinema. Remake love. Remake music heroes. Remake, remake flesh. Remake suburbia. Remake cycle. Remake, 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 remake love. love. Remake cinema. Remake, remake music, music heroes. heroes. Remake fashion look. Remake politics. Remake cigars. Remake clothing. Remake clothing. Remake clothing. Remake clothing. Remake clothing. Remake clothing. The team report on the crisis in the computer industry says the millennium could be a big zero. Could be? The remake millennium already is a big zero. For remake culture, that's the whole point. <laughs> Goodbye.